This video is brought to you by Squarespace. You can build websites and run your online business in this all-in-one platform. I have like six piercings. Excuse the crustiness if you see any crustiness. Be nice or Mimi the skunk will poot all over you. I'm really confused. It's not even Christmas. Why is it wrapped like a present? Extremely, extremely, extremely hot minute since I last cooked. Good morning. It's not even that early anymore, but it is 11 a.m. Last night I had the most sleep I feel like I've gotten for a long time. So, like, in a way, I feel very like nourished sleep-wise, but also I'm in pain because when I sleep too much, my face gets puffy and my brain starts hurting and I just don't feel great. Today I'm going to be doing a lot of designing. I need to design my Patreon benefits. I'm currently asking my patrons on Discord what they would like to see as their rewards. And I also have to design some new products. I have some sketches of ideas that I put in here already. Let me show it to you really fast. But I have like these ideas. This one says I need to read more, I think. And then I have a time flies idea, a little star guy, and a I'm trash. Oh, also speaking about new merch, Today is very exciting because I'm getting a package in of washi tape and stamp washi tape that I designed like months ago and they're finally coming in today as well as my little patches that I designed of the tiger and apple. I'm really excited like I think my most favorite moment is unboxing something you've been working on for so long and like seeing the final product so I will show you those but for now I'm gonna try to distract myself by making new products. Am I like the only one that like when you know there's like something exciting coming in the mail it's really hard to concentrate and like it's easier to just sit around and wait for it because I'm very tempted to just do that today. Other than all of the work stuff that's going on I thought my apartment was clean and then I came home and it's messy again and I need to do laundry and I need to buy groceries because let me let me just show you really fast what I've been living with for the past like month or two. This is essentially like all I have in my fridge. That's expired. There's like an egg in there. That went rancid. Literally everything is expired. So I need to go grocery shopping so I can feed myself. This is totally off topic and I'm procrastinating. But I, I ordered some stuff from studs but I like caved for one of those Instagram ads um, and I wanted to get like little cute earrings to replace like the ones I have now because I've had these for a long time and I haven't really changed them out and I've always wanted thicker gold hoops for my second and thirds so I decided to you know just cave oh my god they gave me like hella stickers so many, so many stickers. What the heck? Um, wow. I'm very distracted right now. Holy, these are tiny. Are these gonna fit on my ears? Look how tiny this hoop is. Can you even see this? Is it gonna fit? I'm so scared I'm gonna lose this. All right, so I got two of those and then I also got a ball stud. I have like six piercings, which apparently people get very surprised when I tell them that I have six piercings and I kind of want to get more in the future. This is what they look like. Excuse the crustiness if you see any crustiness because I just, I don't know, I have very crusty ears. But yeah, this is the two that I just got and this one is actually like one of those handmade clay earrings from Taiwan that I bought a long time ago and on this side I just have a cartilage and then two lobe. I'm really happy. I really like them. Find it difficult to trace the face of 
You sit alone just like a mindless parasite I made a life for me under a cherry tree Peace just surrounds me now I've got no time for running now Gain all my own wisdom I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I currently use Squarespace for my online portfolio for when clients want to take a look at my work. It's really nice to have a landing page as an artist because you can fully customize it to work for you and your art and Squarespace makes it easier for you by providing all of these beautiful themes. My college professor, who has been working in the illustration field for decades, was actually the first person that suggested using this platform to me and everyone else in the class because of how clean and professional it looks. And I have to agree with him because it's very straightforward and it presents your work very beautifully. There's also another feature that I'm not sure if anyone has noticed, but the link on my Instagram bio is actually linked to my Squarespace website. I made a page on my Squarespace site that is hidden and it's mainly only for links so that when people click on it they're able to go down a list of things that will direct them to like my different social media accounts or different pages and because they're all linked to my original website people can also just head straight into my website to check it out instead of using a third party um, link in bio website and if any of this interests you, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can click the link in my description and you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Surprise, surprise, I'm back in bed. I was working for a bit, so please, please give me credit for that. I was not slacking off at all. Let me show you the sketches I finished. I did this one. Um, I think I designed this when I read a comment that made me really sad and it just says be nice or I'll poot and it's a skunk. It's inspired by Mimi the skunk which is my little ceramic thing that I thrifted when I was back in California. We should all live by this. Be nice or Mimi the skunk will poot all over you. And then the next one is this one because I do not nearly read as much as I should. And I've always wanted to read, but I clearly do not have enough self-discipline to anything other than creating art and YouTube videos. So maybe I'll start reading one day or not. I'll just make stickers about it. <laughs> next one is Shine Bright. A little star dude. Next one is this one and I originally designed it to say I'm trash but then I'm like thinking to myself no we're not we, we are not trash we are just treasures to other people and we should not see ourselves as trash because all trash could be treasures to other people yeah, my brain is clearly just not working. I have a headache right now. Next one is this one that says, um, where did time go? And it's a watch because time passes fast. And the last one is no sad eat cake and it's a cake. Oh wait, I have another one. This one I want to put a quote on it, but I wanted to make it like a transparent long sticker just because I feel like the way it flows would look really nice. And then I want the text to wrap around it, but I have no idea what to write on it yet because I'm just tired and I have a headache. I'm in pain. Was debating if I wanted to eat a Tylenol or just, you know, live through the headache. I think my mom has raised me to not rely on medicine or anything. Um, that might just be an Asian mom thing, but like, I remember when I used to get fevers, she would pretty much just tell me to like burn through it, burn all of the bacteria and bad stuff out of your body. And I'm just like laying in bed like, no, please give me medicine. But yeah, I think I just kind of don't really rely too heavily on medicine or painkillers. I am full of tangents today. I think I'm gonna just chill in bed. I've been watching a show called Dirty John, Betty Broderick, and um, I didn't really like it too much at first, but I think I'm too far in to stop. I'm already on season two, episode four. Uh, but yeah, I've been watching that. Also, there's a movie called Awake, 
um, which I kind of like the concept, but also I think the older I get, the less tolerance I have to movies like that. I don't even know if anyone has watched it. Like, I can only watch five minutes at a time before I just kind of like feel really uncomfortable and scared and I have to stop watching it. But yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, please comment below and let me know how you think or what you think about Awake or Dirty John. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just keep watching it in bed. Dan? Dan! I need to have some time by myself, maybe. What do you need to think about? Oh my god. So I got one of the packages, but I just wanted to share something really funny because I had a funny encounter with the mailman. So I heard a knock on the door and usually when that happens, they usually just leave the package at my door and leave. But I kind of like to personally like open the door and like at least say thank you to them because I don't know, I, I'm starting to want to do things where I greet people or thank them and like get out of my comfort zone. So yeah, I've been doing that and it came like this. And when I said thank you to the guy, he's like, I'm really confused. It's not even Christmas. Why is it wrapped like a present? And I'm like, beats me. I don't know, but I just thought that was really funny. And I really like those little interactions with people. Okay, are y'all ready for this? I've been waiting for this for so long. It came from Canada too. Yes! I can finally restock my washi tapes! Okay, I got like a hella amount of washi tapes because they sold out way too fast last time and I wanted everyone to be able to get some washi tape. These washi tapes are from an earlier shop update that I had and yeah, I just bought a lot of them to restock. I also got a new washi tape which is a stamp washi tape that I'm really excited for. I kind of wish I ordered more though. These look like not enough. Oh my God, they're so cute. Okay, so the little sticker I made just says cute things and I have a lot of decorative pieces. I don't know if I can show you all the illustrations on it yet. Maybe I'll open one, but I'm kind of, I kind of don't want to rip it, but this is like the vibe of it. Okay, okay, okay. This is what it looks like. These are the designs on the tape. And yeah. Oh, it turned out so cute. I'm in love. Okay, now we're gonna wait for the patches to come and then my day will be complete. <laughs> this Ikea box earlier this week and I think it would be perfect for my washies. I used to store a lot of stationery in there but I had to get rid of a lot of things and now I have more storage. I kind of don't want to take down my tower, it's so beautiful. But it must be done.
myself a little snack um, with the little amount of ingredients I have in my apartment. There was this one thing that I always loved to eat growing up, which is pretty much roasted seaweed with rice. And in the rice, I put... Oh, I spilled it. But in the rice, I put um, sesame oil, soy sauce, and then I put that uh, Japanese like seasoning stuff onto it. I don't know what it's called. And then I just wrap the rice inside of the seaweed and this is like my all-time favorite snack for when I have nothing to eat but rice and seaweed. Of course. Have a good weekend. This was in our inbox. Uh, it's for Jones, Baxter, and Gray Partners. I don't even Why do I have an accent? I don't even, I'm so bad at accents. So these are the patches, the final patches. My apple girl and my tiger. And I ordered some that are iron-on patches and some that are stick-on patches. So these one are stick-on patches. Not really feeling the white paper, but I mean, you're gonna just peel off anyways. Not bad. These are kind of, these are kind of cute. And by kinda, I mean they're really cute. Ah! They also have these without the stick-on backing and it's just iron-on, so it doesn't have any border at all. And I have that in both the tiger and the apple. I do have to say though, these were kind of a struggle in terms of like finding the right colors because with like embroidery threads and felt, the chances that they have the exact Pantone color that you want for these is very low. So I had to kind of like, you know, go with whatever they had and wish for the best. I did make a few revisions on these to get here, but before that, this was like not even a pretty orange. It was like a gray orange and I think they turned out so much cuter. Alright, I'm finally going grocery shopping. It's 6.19 and I've been pushing it off all day, but I'm not about to eat more rice for dinner. Um, I changed into something more comfortable because I don't want to be lugging a ton of stuff up the stairs wearing a dress. And I also took off my contacts because that goes along with being comfortable. But yeah, I'm gonna get ingredients to make curry because I have curry blocks and I want to use up all the food before I move so I'm gonna make curry I want to get some yogurt so I can finish using my parfait ingredients that I have I have like granola and puff rice and honey still I want to get some fruits like bananas blueberries um, to use up my frozen fruits to make smoothies and I also want to make spaghetti or not spaghetti but pasta because I have dried pasta in my pantry and I just need sauce. So those are my main foods that I'm gonna try to get um, for this week. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go. City of mine, how I 
trip I didn't have to look at my list at all um, mainly because my list didn't save through iCloud so I guess my memory is not that bad time to go home do I want to eat pasta today or do I want to eat curry my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keith drove us down to Ice Place while we rolled up a blunt And me and Jack would get stoned and walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this It's been a extremely, extremely, extremely hot minute since I last cooked. I want to say like it's been almost a month or more since I cooked for myself. I lied this is not curry but it's actually gravy and I put like carrots potatoes broccoli and chicken in there and I have my steamy rice please focus on my steamy rice wow that looks that looks good good morning I am getting ready to go pick up my friends from Red Door TV, Sarah and Mimi, because they're visiting, and I'm going to bring them to my all-time favorite cafe in Vegas, which is Gabby Cafe, or Gabby Coffee. It's like this Korean cafe, and I feel like that's like a must-go-to cafe in like the more local areas of Vegas. I've been saying that I want to bring them there, and today is the day. I'm kind of hungry. Um. This is why I never buy snacks because if I buy snacks, I'm gonna just keep eating it all day. And I also brought them some patches as little gifts. Let's head out so we can pick them up. just dropped off my friends and it's 109 degrees outside I am melting 
Um, I didn't get any work done, which is fine, but that means I have to work extra hard when I get back home. But it was nice having conversations with people. Let's go home now. not gonna lie, I spent like the past few hours in bed taking naps on and off just feeling really groggy and really gross and I think it's because I ate cheese and I'm lactose intolerant I'm kind of just like going through brain fog right now which is fine it's very interesting because I haven't gone through brain fog in quite a bit and I think it's because I've been so active like going to friends houses or like going to cafes and stuff so there's no time for me to just sit and lay in bed and have brain fog so this is like one of the first times in a while since i've had brain fog but anyways i've been working on uh patreon rewards i'm probably not gonna finish this within this vlog because i'm going a little ambitious with it it's a little little detailed one i'll probably put the process of me drawing it right here um, but I asked my patrons what they wanted to see and I got like a few answers Someone wanted boba, someone wanted polaroids, and someone wanted journaling and plants So I just combined like literally everything into one picture and added some cats because I think the best feeling I personally have only experienced this a few times in my life, but I personally love it when cats just like lay on the table and snuggle up against the laptop while you're working I don't own a cat, but like when I babysat Do You, which is my friend's cat, she would do that and it was like the most precious thing. And Vicky's cat, I call I call him Dumbo. I know his name is not Dumbo, but <laughs> Vicky's cat also does that, which I think is really really cute. But yes, I hope you have a great rest of your week and uh, I hope you're having a fun time living life and thank you everyone who kind of like sent me some happy words and caring words um, I'm feeling a lot better now and I'm definitely a lot happier I would say uh, but yeah I'll see you in the next vlog bye bye peace out peace city of mine how I love how I love the city of mine it never gets me down, city of mine